Oh, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Life's Put C E O. And I'm back with another reaction video, man. Let's get it. So, today, we will be reviewing one of Darman's skits. Now, let me talk about Darman real quick because this man is a mastermind when it comes to making these skits. What I love about the skits is it's dealing with people's everyday lives. You know, you might not be able to relate to it, but it's going to be one you will be able to relate to. You know, it could have happened in your past. Maybe it happened recently, but I promise you one of Dharma skits will relate to your life if you keep watching them, man. So today, this one right here is about a spoiled girl who demands more money from her father. Can't wait to see, you know, how this is going to turn out. Because like I said before, Darman is a mastermind when it comes to these skits. I love him, man. I just love the skits that he does. So I'm going to drop the original link to his video in my um, bio. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I said bio. I mean the description to this video. I'm going to drop his original link to his original video because I know a lot of people, they don't like watching reaction videos. They don't like when people stop videos to give their commentary, which is fine. So just click his original link. That's going to be in the um, description of this video. And you can go watch that. Make sure you um, go subscribe to his channel. You know what I'm saying? But if you do want to watch the reaction, stay right here, you know. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video. And I don't want to take nothing from his original work because it's brilliant, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just want to add my little commentary to it. So if you like that, you want to stay, hit that subscribe button, drop a like. Let's get into this video. Let's see what Darman created, what masterpiece he created. Let's watch this together, man. Wow. What happened, sweetheart? I tried to buy two pairs of Chanel shoes, but your credit card got declined. So, what's in the bag? You can only buy one. Wow. She's really mad because she was only able to buy one pair of Chanel shoes. It's people out here that can't even get one pair of Chanel shoes. Chanel ain't cheap. You know what I mean? It's it's a nice price tag on them shoes and on their products. So as a kid, you got to be grateful for what your parents sacrificed for you. And a lot of y'all don't know what type of sacrifice they do for you. So I just feel like she's just ungrateful. And I know a lot of people that's just like this or people, kids that don't appreciate, that don't appreciate the good things that their parents do for them. And it's just, it's just sad, man. Your dad probably embarrassed. You don't appreciate nothing. I'm so sorry, honey. Don't be pops. I thought there'd be more in the card for you to use. No, there wasn't. And since your card doesn't work, I need cash to pay for dinner tonight. Wow. Sure, sweetheart. Let me see what I have. You could tell on his face he don't really got it. And she don't even care. The way she snatched the money, like, why did you snatch your pop's money from him like that? That's literally all he got, and then you just being ungrateful, man. I don't understand why people don't appreciate their parents, because when you lose them, that's it. You don't have no more parents. There's people out here that wish that they still had their parents. There's people out here that actually have their parents, and they don't appreciate the little things that they do for them. Because without them little things, a lot of people wouldn't be able to succeed in life or be in a place that they are right now without their parents. And I don't like the way she snatched the money, man. Just crazy. 60, 85, 86. That's it? That's all he had. That's a lot of money. It is. I ain't never get none. Crazy. I wish I could give you more. I wish we spent a little time maybe. You expect me to believe that? You're just being cheap. Wow. This she called him cheap. The worst birthday ever. Let's talk about it real quick. That's enough money, man. Shoot, back in, you know, when parents used to give kids money. Shoot, $20 was a lot. You can go to the movies. You probably could get a popcorn, and that was good. But you telling me 
$86 is not enough? You want more? Like, he gave you all that he had. You could tell in his face that that's all that he had. I told you, man, Darman be putting these things together so that you can feel that. Because I felt that. I don't understand what she's mad for. My parents never gave me nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't had that. You know what I mean? They ain't go, oh, here's 80 something dollars. You know, it was hard times. They couldn't afford it. So, luckily, you got to get that. You, you better appreciate that. Wait. I have something that will make you feel better. And he's still going to hook you up. Yeah. Look at the smile on her pop's face. Easily, just take a picture, save it. The other one was a couple hundred dollars smaller. That's all I could afford. Yeah, right. You know what? It's obvious you don't care about me or my birthday. Yo, why she chewing her pops up like that? I mean, I know this is skip, but she tear him to pieces. Like, she don't appreciate nothing. Any little thing that he do, she mad about it. She like, wow, this is 64 gigs. My other one has 200 and something gigabytes over of it. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Well, listen, he can give it to me then. Now, I'll take it. You know what I mean? It's the iPhone 12. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kids that don't even got that. And if you don't like it, then keep your 11 and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Keep it pushing. So that's an upgrade. Yeah, I appreciate them upgrades. Like I said before, it's kids that don't even got no phones out here at all. You know what I'm saying? They don't got no computers. They they don't got nothing. And then here it is, you getting an iPhone 12. Not to mention you still got the 11. And you complaining because it's 64 gigabytes. You want to know how you're going to be able to take a picture? I'm going to show you real quick. You're going to go hit save. And that's it, man. That's it. That's 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 how you're going to be able to take a picture. You know what I'm saying? So I don't get it. Being ungrateful ruining it. Carla. It's all good, Pops. You did your best, man. Don't worry about it. You a good dad in my book. You okay, honey? Uh-oh, Grandma did. Oh, no. Why does he have to be so cheap? I can't believe he got me those 64 gigs. The disrespect. She said cheap. Your dad sacrifices for you. Sacrifices? What are you talking about? He always tries to put your happiness first. Even if it means putting his needs second. That's a real dad right there. You see, while you complain about not being able to buy two pairs of shoes, have you ever looked at your dad's shoes? He has holes in them. All right, all right, let's stop. Because she ain't never seen her dad's shoes, and I ain't never seen them things. Them, them, them things, they talking, man. They, they talking. You know what I'm saying? Any dad that's walking around with them shoes right there, on, holes in them and all that, loves you. He's willing to give his last to you and will walk around in these. You got to appreciate it, man. That that That's real love. There's a lot of dads out here that I know that they fresh and their kids not even fresh at all. So if your dad out here got those things on and you got on the new Chanel shoes, whether it's one pair or two pairs, man, you got to be thankful. You got to. And a lot of kids don't understand the sacrifices that their parents have to make in order for them to have the finer things in life. People sacrifice food, clothing, you know, um, a lot. So that they kids could have what they couldn't have. So you got to appreciate that, you know? I feel this. Because he won't spend any money on himself. That's real. He only thinks about you. And while you're upset about having $86 to spend... You feel me? That's a lot, though. Have you ever seen what your dad eats? What he eat? He has the same food at home every day. Wow. Just to save money. 
He, he got the TV dinner. And let me tell you something. These things is not good every day. You're not happy with the brand new phone you got. Have you ever noticed what phone your dad has? He's had the same Bruh. phone for years. Because he'd rather buy you. She mad at her dad for giving her the iPhone 12 64 gigabyte. Well, my man got the flip phone. That's the old Verizon one. That first came out. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. That's probably the first Verizon flip phone. My boy can't even take digital pictures yet. His pictures be like. They come out and you got to put them in the water. Take them out. Dry them. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how old that phone is. Is she bad that her iPhone 12 only got 64 gigabytes? I don't even think these these came with gigabytes to be honest. What they have? I, was, did it? See, I don't, I don't even remember what the flip phones had. Did, did they have SD cards? I think so. I'm not even sure. But I know it didn't come with 64 gigabytes. Appreciate what you got because your pops is living poor, honestly. He living poor while he got you living good. Appreciate him. Brand new one instead. So you see, your dad sacrifices his own happiness just to make you happy. I can't believe I never noticed these things. Because you didn't care. How selfish I've been. Real selfish. I feel so bad for how I've treated them. I found six more dollars. Still found the money for you, man. That's a real dad. He literally giving you his pennies. That's it. That's all he got. I'm sorry it's not much. You did enough, Pops. I'm dead. I'm the one that's sorry. I can't believe how much you sacrificed for me. Just to make me happy. Yeah, he sacrificed everything for Thank you. For everything you do for him. Uh, you're very welcome, sweetheart. And actually, I want you to have a drink. Wow. That's real. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> that's real. $86 back. Now, I can respect anybody that admits when they wrong. Grandma got to her ear. Let me tell you something. Y'all already know what happened when grandma come around. It's just that sweet spot grandma got for us. You know, she know just what to say. And we know not to disrespect grandma. Whatever grandma say goes. So we listen to grandma, man. Grandma came, gave her a talk, and here she go. A changed girl. You know, a changed young woman. That's what I'm going to say. She's a changed young woman to the point where she started to appreciate her pops and say, hey, pops, take your $86 back. You know what I'm saying? You need it more than me. I understand the sacrifices. Hey, pops, take the iPhone 12. I already got 11. I appreciate that. You got the flip phone that's dinosaur ages, so there you go, man. I can respect her for that, you know? And shout out grandma. Honestly, I'd rather spend my birthday at home. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I love you too. I love <laughs> I love that skit right there. Good one, Darman. 